I could never believe that good, decent non-Muslims would go to hell. Um, people who uh, were generous, kind, hard-working, um, simply because they don't believe in Islam. It, you know, it was always something that troubled me, and I used to try and rationalize it and explain it away in many ways. One of the ways was I, I used to use a couple of verses in the Quran um, which are almost identical. Um, I'll read one of them to you now. I'll read it from the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir. This is the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Uh, Ibn Kathir, Al Mujallad al Awwal, the first uh, volume. There are four volumes. And um, this is the verse because I want to read the, the Tafsir, so uh, I think that's quite interesting. But the verse I used to use was this. In the Ladina Amanu, those who uh, believe, Walladina Hadu, those and those who are Jews, Wal Nasara and Christians, Was Sabi'in and Sabians, Man Amana Billah, those who believe in God, Wal Yawmul Akhir and the last day, Wa Amala Salihan and do good works, Falahum Ajru, they will have their reward, and the Rabbihim with their Lord. وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ And they will not have any fear upon them. وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزُنُونَ And they will not be sad. So I used to say, well, this shows that, you know, some Christians and Jews will go to heaven. But in fact, it doesn't. It's, it's um, agreed by all the scholars that this actually is referring to people before Muhammad came. And that the Christians and Jews who followed their religions in those times would go to heaven. But when Muhammad came, they had to believe in Muhammad. And the Qur'an makes that very, very clear. There are many other verses, and I'm going to quote you some. First, let me just read the tafsir of Ibn Kathir on this particular verse, just to make this very, very clear. And he says that, um, uh, Iman al-Yahud, the um, belief of the Jews that it is talking about, uh, man that those who um, held on to the Torah, was Sunnat Musa, and the um, example of Moses, upon him be peace Hatta ja'a Isa until uh, Jesus came falamma ja'a Isa so when Jesus came kana man tamassaka bi tawra wa akhadha bi sunnat Musa those who followed the, the Torah and the example of Moses falam yada'a and didn't leave it walam yata'a Isa and didn't follow Jesus kana halikan they will be destroyed they will go to hell so when Jesus came all the Jews then had to follow Jesus and if they didn't then they would go to hell and then, of course, we get to Jesus. What 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 happens then? I think you can guess what's what's gonna what's what's, what's going on here. Um, what Iman and Nasara, so the belief of the the belief that of the of the Christians that is accepted, and the Mantamasaka bil Injil, those who followed the Gospels, minhum wa Isa and the um, laws of Jesus, kana mu'min and maqbul, and they are believers who are accepted. Minhu hatta jaa Muhammad until Muhammad came. Until Muhammad came, hatta jaa Muhammad. What's my place now? Hatta jaa Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. فمن لم يتبع محمد those who didn't follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam منهم ويدع ما كان عليه and leave abandon what they were upon what they used to follow. Min Sunnat Isa wal Injil of the uh, example of Jesus and the, the Gospels, Kana Halikan. They will be destroyed, they will go to hell. Um, and Ibn Kathir himself quotes um, another part of the Quran, which makes this very, very clear. And it says, Man uh, wa man yabtari ghayr al Islam deenan, those who desire a religion other than Islam, falan yuqbal minhu. It will not be accepted from, from him. fil And he will be in the, the next life. Min al Of the losers. He will be of the losers. And there are many other verses that make it very, very clear that, um, you know, those who believe uh, that Jesus is the Son of God, Qad Kafar, have become Kufar. It says Qad Kafar, you know. Um, there's another verse which uh, says they are the worst of creatures and they'll be in hell forever. Uh, this is in Surah Al-Bayyinah. Verse 6, for example. Inna ladina kafaru, those who disbelieve, min ahlil kitab, of the people of the book, wal mushrikeen, and, and the, 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 um, the polytheists, fi nari jahannam, will be in the, he, the fire of hell, khalidin, forever, fiha, khalidina fiha. Ula'aka they are 
Sharl Bariya, the worst of creatures. And why are they the worst of creatures? Because they didn't believe in Muhammad. Um, you know, and what's going to happen to them? They're going to be tortured and burnt in a very graphic way. Anyone who says that hell is not a real place, according to the Quran, it's a very real place. It's a very real, torturous, agonizing, excruciatingly horrible place. And I can give you um, plenty of verses, but I think two will do. This is verse 56 from Surah Nisa, and it says, Inna ladhina kafaru, those who disbelieve, bi ayatina, in our signs. Saufu nuslihim, we will burn them, naran, in a fire. Kullama nadijat juluduhum, every time their skins are burnt, baddalnahum juludan ghayraha, we will change them for new skins. Liyazuq al-azab, so, isn't it? You know, God is not uh, um, uh, satisfied with just killing them. No. He has to torture them in the most agonizing, excruciating, horrible way, burning off their skin in, in the fire, and every time it's gone, it's replaced. And of course, the Mufassirun all explain that um, the skin is the place where you feel pain, and so this uh, God is highlighting and showing that um, this uh, excruciating pain will will never subside it will never go away how lovely what a lovely uh, picture this eternal excruciating pain um, and I'll give you one more verse there are plenty of verses about hell it's, it's full of uh, very graphic verses about hell this is this is uh, verse 19 of uh, Surah Al-Hajj and it says I'm reading from this Quran by the way uh, um, kafaru, so those who disbelieve uh, clothes of fire will be cut out for them uh, and poured on top of their heads will be al -hamim, boiling scorching fluid it will melt what is in their insides um, and their skin and they will have hooked rods of iron every time they want to escape from it get out from it, flee from it from their misery and their pain and their suffering and their utter despair they will be pushed back in forced back in and this is a kind of like a speech that said to them Fear, you know, taste the punishment. Look what I have. Taste it. It's, 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 you know, turning the screw. It's kind of twisting the knife a little bit. It's, it's so graphically violent and 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 sadistic. It, you know, you know. Sometimes I hear people say, "Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't sound so bad in the Arabic." Actually, it does. It sounds worse in the Arabic. Before I go, I'd just like to um, ask one question. If you believe that all the good decent English people, European people, American people, people whoever you work with, if you really believe that they're all going to go to hell um, because they are not Muslims, you know, how, how can you square that with a God who is supposed to be merciful and kind and compassionate and loving? And if you're saying that they will go to heaven because they're good people, how do you square that with what the Quran says? Best wishes. Goodbye.